Welcome to another episode of Queen Acres. I'm Ivy Winters. And I'm Miss Darian Lake. And today we're going to be showing you how to make your own laundry soap. Pennies on the dollar. Pennies. It is so inexpensive to make your own laundry detergent where you'll be spending, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars on laundry soap where this is like a snap, easy, quick piece of cake. And how much are we going to make here? Oh, we're making five gallons, gallons. of liquid. What? Liquid laundry detergent. We'll mm. also make powdered form for all these that don't have the, the space to store five gallons. But it, I mean, oh my god, I can't tell you how cheap it is to make your own. It's like eight dollars, eight dollars to make five gallons of laundry detergent. You'll need borax. Mm. Boom. Buy a box. It's like four dollars for a box. Next ingredient you'll need is some washing soda. The next ingredient you'll need is washing soap. Which you'll find right next to these other ingredients! It's oh so easy. One stop shopping. shopping. One stop shop. They'll have all of it. Now, what are the utensils you're gonna need to, you know, cook your own? For the liquid laundry turns it, you'll need a five gallon bucket. Since we are making five gallons, you'll need a long spoon for stirring. You'll need a measuring cup for one quart. So I just use a quart uh, canning jar. Mm. So this is just one quart of water. You'll need a measuring cup, so one cup. And cutting board, you'll need a little stainless steel pot to be able to fit some stuff into, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, you know, and in case your stainless steel pot doesn't have heat safe handles, you can always use one of our fabulous oven mitts that we made in our first episode. Exactly. Everything is so exciting that you can make it yourself. It completely. It's so self-satisfying. You're doing laundry, you're like, I made this. I made myself smell good. See, it's an amazing is, feeling. This is the benefit of like growing up in a, in a household where I always wanted and asked for things and they said, do it yourself. So now I, you know, I'm, I've become very self-sufficient. Yeah. And yeah. A lot of people, you know, times are hard. People don't have a lot of money. So, you know, if you don't want to spend $15, $10, whatever on laundry detergent, this will make so much and you're good to go. First step for a liquid laundry soap. Going to take our naphtha bar soap. We're going to go ahead and cut it into little chunks and throw it right in the pot. Ooh, should I turn this on? Yeah, you can turn it on medium. Okay, sure. sure. All right, so now that you've cubed up your soap, now you can use a cheese grater. It will um, melt faster if you use a cheese grater, but for time purposes, we're going to cube it, throw it in the pot, and we're going to add one quart of warm tap water. It's like a hot tub for soap chunks. So while your soap is melting in your quart of water, you're gonna take your five gallon bucket and fill it up about four and a half gallons of hot water from your sink. Yeah, so some of the helpful hints are don't have it too hot because it'll start foaming up and you just don't want that. It'll bubble over because it is soap. And we Me cubed and it, but quite honestly, it took a long time for it to melt. Grating is the way to go. Yeah, grate it with a cheese grater. It melts in maybe like 10 minutes, maybe less on medium heat. Uh, really, whatever you have time for. If you want to grate it, do it. If you don't, it'll take a little bit longer to melt in the quart of water. Since that is all melted and good to go, we're going to go ahead and take one cup of the borax. Mm. And then your laundry uh, washing soda. One cup as well. And right, right into your uh, warm water. Give that a good stir. And as you're stirring, you want to go ahead and dump the hot, melted bar of soap water mixture into the bucket. Take off your fabulous rings and stuff. You know, just in case. Ooh, we're making magic. God, that smells so good. So what you want to do is you want to stir this, make sure everything's dissolved and gelled completely. Put a cap on it, let it sit overnight. Uh, everything will cool down and it'll gel. It'll get kind of like a gelatinous texture. Mm. So when you get ready to do your laundry, you want to use half a cup to a cup. You can use a full cup, but I use a half a cup in my loads of laundry with this mixture. Throw it in when the water is running. Yep. Don't pour it all over your clothes. Nope. Because that's how you're going to get stains and things. You know. Yes. Now when you're making the dry laundry soap, it's the same ingredients, one cup, one cup, and one bar of naphtha soap. And for this, you want to put all the ingredients into a food processor, process the crap out of it, and you end up with this beautifully smelling product right here. It fills one quart jar. 
And when you're doing your laundry, you will only need to use one to two tablespoons. One to two tablespoons? One to two tablespoons! Nothing! Like, and it's, yeah, like I made this and five gallons of laundry detergent, and I still have enough to probably make like, maybe like five more batches if I would get more bars of these soaps. It's crazy how cheap it is. It's brilliant, cheap, and easy, and you guys can make it at home for uh, like nothing, and it's so easy. If we can do it, you can do it and save some money. Thank you so much for dropping by the Queen Acres. I'm Darian Lake. I'm Ivy Winters. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own laundry soap. You can see all the instructions right down below and subscribe and like and stay tuned for other beautiful, fun, adventurous crafts and DIY projects from our house to yours. Ah, love you.